Hello, welcome to Vac Bros. Alright, so today we're gonna be doing a surprise. Look what my parents just bought. Bissell Crossway Pet Pro. Alright, so um, we're just gonna be showing you self-clean mode on it. So um, first what you'll need, um, you'll need a little tray. It looks like this. It says Bissell on it and max maximum it says max right here and then you'll um uh so that's for your self clean right there this is your self clean tray it's supposed to prevent all of your stuff from filling filling up too much and then like it starts flooding out the well um actually no it's supposed to prevent you from prevent it from just like if you were to do self clean right there like on your floor or just get everywhere and it'll be really hard to use so yeah um then i'm gonna like actually show you how to actually like clean clean it and not just any more self clean modes on it even though there's a self-clean mode it doesn't do like the best for like your dirty water tank which is filthy because i bought this my parents bought it used um so um it's a pet pro um so now i'm gonna set it up all right um my thing is set up as you see it's a corded bissell cross wave so um also i recommend you doing this outside my parents told me do this outside because the rinse tray easily can spill I know how I said so um so how you'll turn your Bissell crosswave on this is a lot different from like a regular vacuum so on the top of the handle there's two buttons this one and this one hard floor area rug sorry all right so if you're gonna clean hard floors press our floor machine should start also um here's one thing it's um a lot louder than you'll think it will be area rug area rug the difference is that on area rug mode it uses more um power also the on the back of your cross wave um uh, there is a um, uh, tank which I'll just turn. All right, I was gonna say which I'll just get. Also, that happen if it's been in there for a long time, upside down with stuff in it. When you take it out, it'll start bubbling and dripping everywhere. But um, so that's your tank from our last use we didn't really dump it out so see um there's two uh, there's actually four so water and formula S for small areas fill it to the first line with water second line with um bissell multi-surface carpet shampoo and like you can add like a little bit of hard floor sanitizing large area Fill to the third line with water, and the fourth, the one closest to the top of the bottle, with um a solution. I'd fill like a third of the way if you're gonna use like um any uh um a sanitizer, but I'm pretty sure you just add like um uh. 
I'm not really sure, but, um, I don't really know, but I'm just assuming you should fill a third and then the rest of the way to the, um, line. Alright, so, let's read this. Um, maximum temperature, 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius. Celsius warning read owner's manual yet. Um, all right, let's check out our model number. Model number two three zero three. Um, all right, so let's just read it. Bissell Bissell International Trading Company B V Stad Howder Skade fifty five. Floor 2, 107, 2AB, Amsterdam, Netherlands, made in China, um, floor finishing machine, model number 2303, serial, no, yeah, let's just not do, consumer care, 1-800-237-7691, running to, uh, do not immerse in my users, okay. Yeah, it just says, like, the use-only Bissell. Which everybody would recommend Bissell cleaning fluids intended for use with the machine. Um, warning, to re unplug it. Yeah, unplug before servicing. Label is on the, like, foot of it. So, how you'll do it, you can either fill this up with water, place your thing in which you just like place it in so there's a cap with like a little like screen in it you place that so let's say it's on my machine it should look like this so have the lines facing towards the machine and all this stuff facing towards the machine like this then you will flip it over like this and then place it on your machine and like hit it down until it will um come on all right so now let's get to when it turns on so when you um turn your bissell crossway pet pro on this led lights will illuminate like right here right by the pole thing like this this thing right here which we'll mention later in this video that is disgusting yeah that's why i'm showing you this that's the only reason my parents wanted this they were happy this video happened Right. So yeah. See, Crossway Pet Pro, little pet, little paw right there. Also, um, number one thing: never use flammable liquids in anything, anything electrical, or involve anything that involves using a motor. Um. Also, since it uses water, do not, like, put it in, like, super cold places. Because then it, um, if you leave it in there, that just freezes and it's in there forever. And there's no getting it out until it melts. <laughs> um, alright. So, um, let's just get on with our stove cleaning. What you'll do, you can either... Put the water in the tray, which I don't have the stuff right now. They're in my um, shed, which um, my, I don't really feel like getting. Neither do my par my parents don't feel like getting it. But um, you'll recline your handle. Um, hey, look, swivel steering. Yeah. Um, always, no matter what, you press hard floor. Um. If you decide to put water in the tank, um, you'll press the solution trigger. But if you um, decide to just do the tank thing right here, um, uh, but there'll be um, like a thing right where my um, 
foot is soil, um, and then you can place water in that, and then you put it to the max line, and then you place your Bristol cross wave on, and then you'll turn it on and do not press solution trigger. But yeah, so I'm doing the solution in the bottle. Um, I'm at water in the bottle since it just uses water. So it'll spray out from here. By the way, I didn't mean solution. Never put this whole solution to self clean your product. One, it's like a terrible waste of solution. Two, um, I'm pretty sure Bissell wouldn't appreciate it. Um, but, oh, no matter what, even if you're doing it anyway, always press hard floor. So you press your hard floor button. This may be loud for you, so microphone users, um, beware of it. It might be a screamer may be loud i've used it once and it's a lot louder than i thought it would it's a lot louder than your everyday vacuum see solution comes out of the thing and then it sucks it up it's supposed to clean it that's so it'll suck it up and then, um, if you can hear the machine, yeah, that's what your Bissell should sound like. Never, um, mess with your settings. Area rug is only for area rug or severely soiled on spots. Um, so yeah. So yeah, you see, picking it up. You can see the action, I'm pretty sure you're not able to. Pumping it out through the sides right here, and then it's sucking it in through here. And no, I'm not flickering with the settings. So run it for, um, just like hold the trigger for 10, 15 seconds and let it suck everything up. So just sit there. Yeah, just do that if you feel like it. Just like. just ended quickly um number one thing you should do put this on correctly and no it's ew disgusting yeah that's why i'm actually cleaning it up yeah that's the reason why all right so that just ended it's multi-surface so rotary mop right here and then there's some carpet bristles right here all right this is mostly mop but okay so um you'll press the of course you pull the thing that says pull like this and then it'll come out like this you pull it like that and yeah it's out pull the um of course pull the pull tab your brush rolls out yeah still some soap in it yeah hey where the spray nozzles go the spray nozzles disappeared if you want to know something cool about this little cross wave um 
You know those LED lights I was talking about earlier? So there's one LED, two LED lights, one for both sides, and then it activates it when, and then it'll just have special, like, um, one so you can see the light and one. All right, so what you'll want to do before you take all the hair out of it, take all the loose hair out of the spindle and that, that, yeah, get all that stuff out of there. If you want, you can just soak it. Always clean your machine. All right. All right, now here comes the worst part of it all, okay? The dirty water tank. Pull this out, the little float right here. Here's the float, that nasty one. Okay, yeah, that'll need some cleaning. Dump your dirty water tray out. Now let's dump your dirty water tray out. Dump my, um, sorry. All right, so, yeah, that's my, um, tray. That's just my, um, uh, thing dumped out, but not actually cleaned yet. What you'll want to do, you take all your parts that were taken off the bissel inside you can set this out to dry your bissel and the um oh hmm that's weird i don't know if it should be like that pretty sure it should oh it should uh never mind there's not a problem if you um see that the uh OMG, the most recent people um, lied to us. They said they only used it once, which this is like super and very dirty, which none of us believe that. <laughs> so yeah. So take your brush roll. Um, uh, I don't even know what the heck this is called, but um, Put that, the, um, uh, um, the brush roll cover, that's what it was called, the thing that says Bissel on it. Of course, put your dirty water tank and the float under running water. Okay, so it shoots up. That's nice. So then what you want to do, so there's a filter, a filter, ONG, look at that, look at my filter, look at what that looks like, yep, definitely cleaning that, so you'll want to clean that under running water. Alright, just going to pause it while I... Like, take all the stuff off. Alright, I'm back. Um, also, don't think that I did that to our crossway. I'm pretty sure, since this is used, the person before us, she used it and used it and used it and did not do any maintenance. Like, she didn't even clean her tray, which has signs of being, of, um, outdoor use. Yes, it has signs of outdoor use. Because there's, like, mud in there. There's, like, a bunch of mud and dirt. Stuff you'd find outside in there. So, yeah. And she did not care about maintenance. So, that's what, um, for, that's for, for all I know, that's what happened. Uh, no main, and that's what it looks like, um. So, um, bye, have a great day, um, also, um, uh, like, take all the lint off your brush, 
off I meant your filter just like take all lint off anything that you can clog your drain just yeah and now um the last part wash everything under running water number one warning never put any part of your Bissell cross wave and I mean any by any part I mean any part like any part even the floor nozzle or especially um yes if you feel like it you can just soak um the uh anything that's attached to the motor unit and is permanent never soak in water um all right and no don't soak the um handle either because it's not on the motor unit um you can soak your clean water tank if it looks dirty if you want to make an impression on someone because you bought something this thing because it is a pretty cool thing it vacuums and mops at the same time it's the greatest yeah and um the good thing the vacuum is on hard floors i did i literally have no idea how bissell made it able to um go on hard floors without the little rubber squeegee oh they put the rubber squeegee yeah so by um now you are ready to use your bissell crosswave again or maybe if your body used in it um did not have any maintenance before so yeah um and also um after every use if you're using this with like a house with like a couple dogs and like a cat or something even one dog just you any time you use this just clean it every time and um no one really cares if like it well, um, yes, you can clean it every, like, three times if it's, like, very low, like, um, very low usage, like, very low usage, or, like, um, so let's say if this is, like, used to pick up your, um, pet's everyday messes, like, um, clean it every time. Because here's a lot of stuff that can happen to it. Um, clogged filters, 